coming at you from Mama Bali. And today's class, we are going to go into the fascia, one of my favorite um, places of, um, so it's like a, a muse. I love to talk about uh, the interconnection with our body and how we can connect deeper and deeper the layers of truth within the physical body. And with that, the, fit, the fascia is um, it's our connective tissue that encapsulates all of our joints and our muscles that hold us together. And it's really how we move and breathe. And so today's class is all about grounding into the physical body to allow ourselves to deepen our connection of what's really happening into our internal world and energetic world. So we're going to be working with the fascia balls, the myofascial balls. Um, these are from Roll and Release. You can get them online or you can find um, balls from Yoga Tune Up, which has um, a couple different sizes as well. So today we just are going to use two small medium balls as so. And to start, we're just going to drop deep into uh, meditative space before we get into the practice. And as I do, I like to bring essential oils into it as well. So you don't have to use the oil if you don't want to. would love to, to um, just share with you a little bit about um, using oil. So for this, vetiver is a really grounding, earthy oil that helps you if you have any anxieties or fears or anything like that that come up. It's a really uh, amazing oil that tunes you back in to the here and now. And so you'll just take one drop and place the palms together, take a couple deep inhalations. Mm, just feeling the frequency of the oil. So the oil goes straight into our cerebral cortex, um, which is where our memory, our emotions, our mental capacities, our decision-making skills lie. So you can actually make um, newfound beliefs, neural uh, transmitters of, of, of deep, deepening your um, connection to a new belief into your, into your world by using essential oils. Um, and so with the oil, I would suggest placing them right away onto the bottom of the feet to root and ground that energy back into the body. And just with that intentionalism, your body, your cells are always listening. And so really finding that intention, maybe massaging your legs, rooting into what, how could you feel deeper connected to your physicality today? And so just for a moment, let's drop into a meditative state to feel what's happening into your body. So going into the inner landscape, dissecting, kind of going into maybe an x-ray X -ray vision to see where the tightness are held. Do you have any tightness in the gut, in the hips, in the knees, in the shoulders, the jaw, without any judgment, just notice what's happening. If there's Maybe there's space or energy surging through your body, this vastness, this energetic vastness that's happening. Just notice all different spaces. I'm just feeling that. And we're going to start face up or standing up. And so removing the blocks or if you have anything around, just moving it to the side. And we'll do the same thing standing. So without trying to find like something structurally aligned, just notice how you are in time and space. So finding your Tadasana without any kind of alignment, just feeling the feet planting down, palms up. And just notice if your hips are tilting forward or back, your shoulders are slouch, slouching down, if your hips are out, just notice where are you aligned. So with the fascia, we're going to allow a deeper alignment to happen with using these balls. And so first, we'll start with finding out what's happening into our, it's called the superficial back line, the fascia plane that goes from the plantar all the way up into um, the back body, and it goes all the way from to the, the cervical spine up top. So we'll start by opening up the back body. So tucking the chin, and rolling down vertebra by vertebra, completely letting go, maybe closing your eyes for that deeper experience here. Bending your knees if you need to, and just melting that tension, and just feeling your whole body as you melt your fingertips, your head, your neck, 
and just rocking from side to side to release any tension, maybe bouncing the knees back and forth, grabbing your forearms, saying yes and no. And then come back to stillness as you open up in this yin-like pose to release and deepen into the here and now. And then taking a nice deep inhale, slowly start to somatically roll back up, bending your knees and slowly tucking the chin, rolling vertebra by vertebra all the way back up. Rolling the shoulders back and notice the space you created already in the, in the whole back body, that fluidity. And so from here, we're going to start right away into our practice with the balls and we'll start with the feet. For me, this is the most important practice to, it's almost like turning on all the bells and whistles of your body. So, um, so we'll start with grounding down into your left foot lift your right and then start to roll the ball slowly back and forth almost like you're rolling dough you can lean into the ball feeling that and then rolling the ball back to the plot the plantar so the sole of the foot you may even want to open up the toes so spread the toes wide and then back and forth just feeling you don't want to overextend or go deep into it just notice and find that comfortable edge. And so you can bounce back and forth, closing the eyes, placing your hands on your hips to bridge or uh, bring more stability. And using your breath. So finding a breath that's going to support you. And using the exhalation right down into the foot to give the body permission to let go. Our breath is the language of the nervous system. So every exhale is like a letting go and retuning into balance and harmony. So last few breaths here. Getting inside the edge, feeling the little crunchy bits and just staying in one spot, maybe in breathing there just to allow that tension to release that lactic acid or any kind of toxic waste. And then from here, we'll release the foot, plant the foot down and notice, notice the, the, the difference between your right and left foot. You can notice maybe a deeper connection to the earth or notice an expansion, a lightness. And so after that, we'll come into the opposite, coming into rooting into our right foot. So rooting down, lifting the right or the left foot and doing the same. I'm going to give yourself a little space to explore even more. Slow and steady is how the fascia actually, they like, the fascia is like melting hard butter. The more slow and methodical you are, the deeper the release. And in traditional Chinese medicine, they believe that we die from the feet up. And so we're actually affecting six different organs um, as we um, rock in and roll into this space. So this is bringing more vitality and allowing our body to heal itself really naturally. Last few breaths here. Breathing into those spots that really are a little bit tricky for you. Spreading the toes wide. Beautiful. Inhale, release, plant, plant the palms. And just for a moment, close the eyes dropping into Tadasana and just notice the effects. Maybe you can even tell when we release the tension in the feet, we're releasing tension in our hamstrings and our glutes. And so from here, let's check in to see if we've made any length in our back body. So take a nice deep breath here. And exhale, chin tucks as you exhale, slowly rolling down inch by inch. 
finding that length. And see if there's any changes that have been made in the back body. Look forward, bending your knees, plant the palms, and go ahead and sit back onto your heels. And so from here, we're going to grab your balls. So this time you take both balls, you bring the knees apart about hip width distance. And then what I like to do is plant my crown of the head, grab my balls and place them right where the, the knees, the back of the knees hit. And then from there, you place your palms out and sink back. Now you can find your comfortable edge. This is the key here. Make sure that you're finding your comfortable edge. You're not going too deep or you're not, you know, resisting it. You're allowing to find that comfortable edge. So it might be pretty intense if you're a runner or if you haven't really got massage in a while here. And so if it's um, safe to do so, finding your comfortable edge, you may want to place the palms and the forearms down and sink down and just start to wag your tail back and forth. Breathing down into the calves. Closing the eyes, this is, this is where we really start to drop in to feel the connection of our body with these balls. So you're really giving yourself a self-massage. Inhale, release, and then roll the balls a little bit further down, sitting back possibly about an inch or two, and then finding again where you can stay still, placing the palms together or apart, whatever feels good. And again, finding if it's, if it's just stay still here, go ahead and do that. If you'd like to go further, possibly going and, and you're making this sliding and gliding um, action happen to allow the fascia to move subtly against each other to release even more. It's like a dissolving nature. Inhale, release, roll the balls all the way down. Finding inch by inch, just going into, it's called the Achilles tendon here. So we're really getting deep um, into that space between the calf muscles. And I'm gonna invite you this time to find if you are called, you can even walk your torso up and finding where you can sit and stay in that space, breathing down into the legs. Every exhale again is finding that tension release. You may feel this tingling sensation. Just notice in, at any time, of course, if it starts to become more painful than feeling good, then that's your cue that you need to um, get out of the pose. So go ahead. You can roll all the way down or release the balls. And just for some integration, release the balls. Um, come and sit onto your heels, closing your eyes. And just noticing the effects. Go ahead. Just um, for even deeper release, I'm going to invite you to drop into maybe a, a, a downward dog with the taking yourself on a bike ride. So bending the right knee, then the left knee, just waking up. And then from here, again, dropping back into the knees, sitting back onto your heels. And let's start to get into the deeper connection. So this is where you find, start to um, feel into your ASIS, which is your hip bone. And just below there is called the TFL, the tensor fascia latte. This typically is the, um, the root cause of a lot of our pain in our hips and our IT band. And so we'll start with the right side. So you'll come onto the side body, placing your forearm down. Take your ball 
and lift up and place the ball right into that hip socket where the TFL is. You may want to take this left knee, plant the foot over or on top, whatever feels good to you. And then once you've found that sweet spot, you're going to in allow yourself to drop deep into that space. Now, you may want to even come down and sit, place your head in your hands, only if that's available. Of course, it takes a little bit of time to open up the body this way, but this really allows that deep release to happen. So we'll stay here for a couple breaths, using again that exhalation down into your hips. You are really working with your body. You are the medicine. So you can give yourself this permission to release. You can say it's safe to let go. Beautiful. So releasing that. And let's start on to the opposite side. So finding that, lying down onto the left side this time. And again, finding that ASIS, finding the IT, uh, TFL, and again, taking that right extended leg over the left knee. And again, taking a couple breaths here. Breathing down into that space, maybe even back and forth. If it's too intense, you can always pop out and then back, out and back. Last few breaths. Mm, beautiful. Releasing that and go ahead and start to roll over. We're really gearing into the legs this class today. So grabbing your balls. You can always stay in these places too longer for better results, of course. So plant the feet parallel, lift the hips and place the balls right underneath where your gluteal maximus is. This is um, where you'll find your sacrum and just beside the sacrum, this is where I would like for you to place the, the balls. Then you'll place the knees up and just start to sway from back and forth, releasing tension where um, our attachment sites lie of the femur bone. And so circling the hips back and forth, releasing all that side to side, using your breath. And then go ahead and float into Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, arms out, and stay here for three deep breaths. Noticing where your mind's going. Continue to tune in. If there's pain there, can you allow pain to rise without pushing it away? And if there's space there, can you find a way to Go into certain areas that give you a little bit extra release. So exploring your world, exploring your body. Last few breaths. Go ahead, bring the knees up, release the balls, roll over onto one side, press back up, and just take yourself, come back to a seated position and feel the effects, maybe rolling out your hips. And notice how much more space, more energy is happening. My name is Joy. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, always a blessing. Have a blessed day. Namaste.